In this lesson, we're going to work with the bow arm and how to create the, the proper and comfortable natural motion of the arm for the bow. And we'll also be using the paper towel roll to help us with that. But even before that, we're going to just take the raise the bow arm up. I always like to have them wave their arm so we know raise your wave your violin arm, wave, wave your bow arm. So they have their bow arm. They're going to bring it up to their arm to just below their their eye level and we're going to just press on the elbow and the, there should be a natural reflex when you do that the arm will just naturally spring that way then to reverse that right where the the uh, hinge of the arm is on, on the top we're just going to press down and we should get the opposite effect so press the elbow it straightens the arm press at the inside and it curves the arm. So that's, that's the sort of a natural kind of motion that we want to achieve. So now we'll take, have them take their bow and go through their steps which we've done in a previous lesson of getting their hands set up with their eight steps which I'll just quickly go through and you're welcome to go back through on your own and they get that set up. So now their bow hand is in place and now with their violin hand they take the paper towel roll and then put, place the tip of the bow through the, the, the roll and then set it on the shoulder like this on their violin shoulder uh, and then they can, they can actually rest their head against the, the roll if they'd like and then what, we're, what, we're, what we want to do is have them practice going in a straight line so you can see that there's that there's a certain amount of width to this. So we have to uh, have them really concentrate on head having the bow uh, pressing against the, the left side of the roll so that it keeps it going in a straight line so that we don't get this sort of thing. So if they do that, then they should get a quite a nice straight motion. And they continue until their hand actually brushes against the, the roll. And then we want them to go far enough that the arm is is getting to a fairly straight angle. It doesn't want to, we don't want it to be locked or anything, but a natural extension like this, and they're going back and forth. And we want them to concentrate on their keep their fingers will move naturally. They'll they'll get a little straighter as the arm goes down, and that they'll curve as they come this direction. That that's perfectly fine, uh, but we do want them to keep their fingers in place. Then we'll, the next step is that we'll they'll, they'll actually pull the roll this direction and we're going to uh, imitate what it would actually be like to be playing the violin. So the important thing here is, is that they, they shouldn't have the, the roll too far to the left, their left, because the, then what happens is once they start to pull then the bow will slide out. So the way we get around that is we make sure that they bring the roll toward their hand. So that way, when they when they go and and actually we should have them bring it a little bit closer because the violin will be closer to their body. So, so they'll go like this. It's, it's the identical motion to this, just that the angle has changed. So that's how this will work. And then after they've done that. Then they want to do the same motion with their violin, so they'll go through the proper way of taking the violin out of the case and bringing it to their chin. And then we want the bow to be lined right up above the ends of the F holes. So right, I'll just show you where it is. The bow will be above the string, like that. So, and this is one of the really important skills for them to learn. Then when they actually move the bow. They, they're gonna they'll do the same exact motion as they have done with the paper towel roll now if you have one other person if if the parent uh, is there they can, the parent can actually stand there with the paper towel roll and they have they'll have to experiment a little bit with the right the correct angle depending on which string the the So you can do that as well. So that's uh, kind of a quick 
summary of, of the proper bulb or shows.